Welcome back to the show. Lakewood Ranch will soon see a new Tidewell hospice in the community. Denise Pope, Executive Vice President, has all the details. Thank Hi, you for morning. being with us. Thank you. Yes, as well, you as well. Now, um, this is exciting. You're it gonna is have exciting. a new location. Can you tell us where that's gonna be? Yes, it's actually gonna be built on the corner of State Road 70 and Lakewood Ranch Boulevard, uh, right next to that public shopping center that's yeah. down there where yeah. all the growth is in Lakewood Ranch. Okay. And it's important because it's our eighth it will be our eighth hospice house. So we'll have all of our service area covered. Okay, and, and why did you choose Lakewood Ranch? Well, if you all know the growth that's happening in East Manatee County, if you are a resident of East Manatee County right now, mm -hmm. you have to travel either to Ellington or to Sarasota or to Bradenton, which is 20 miles. Mm -hmm. And we want to be able to serve patients close to their home. Most people want to be in their home sure. when, they're, when they're ill like that. If yeah. they can't be at their home, our hospice houses are the closest things to our, a home. Yeah. And that way their family and friends can spend time with them. Yes, you, you do an amazing service. Thank um, you. I've had some people that um, have, have been in contact with you and uh, they just can't say enough wonderful things. Thank you. Um, what, what type of um, people do you serve uh, generally? I know they're, they're, they come to you in the time of need when it's, it's a crisis for their family. Right, well hospice is available for people who have a terminal diagnosis that typically is six months or less. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, a lot of people wait to the last minute to come into our care and they're not with us very long. Hospice houses are for those most acute patients. Mm -hmm. They're for people oftentimes who are discharged from the hospital. Mm -hmm. They need 24 seven pain control, symptom control, they are restlessness, they have nausea, they just can't get their pain under control mm -hmm. and they need a nurse there at their bedside 24-7. Sure. Sure. Um, so that's the type of patients that are seen in our hospice houses. Okay. And, and again, you say sometimes people wait too long. They so do. they should contact you sooner than later and you can tell them what to expect and, and, and how to go from there and when they really should come and see you, right? Right, okay. right, well, and we know people, people don't want to talk about death. They don't sure. want to think about that it's giving up and hospice yeah. isn't giving up. It's yeah. really about looking at ways to manage your disease yeah. for the longest amount of time. People who come into our care earlier, mm -hmm. they actually live longer than they would if they did not receive our care. And as important as that is, mm -hmm. and being able to take care of the patient, yeah. When you're a caregiver and you need support and you're taking care of your loved one 24-7, yeah. hospice really provides that type of support for you as well. Absolutely. And it lets you be that wife again, that child again, and reclaim your role yes. in their life. And make you healthier and as well to take care of, of the loved one that you're taking care of. Right, exactly. It just supplements that caregiver. Okay. Now. Um, so getting back to your new location, yeah. how are you raising the funds for the new location and when do you anticipate it being open? Well, we are going to break ground in March of 2017. We anticipate it taking about 10 to 12 months mm -hmm. to build. Um, during that time, right now and actually during that time, we'll be, we'll be securing individual contributions to help us fulfill that. Mm -hmm. um, the build itself is going to be about a little over $5 million for the hospice house. Okay and it's a 12 bed unit um, with space to grow potentially okay. at some time up to 24 beds. Wonderful. Um, right right now we're, we're building there, um, the 12 beds, and we are uh, just looking and working with people who want to make an investment into the care of the into Which the leads me into our next yeah. question. How can people contribute to the capital campaign that you're having right now? Well, the best way to, to support us is to reach out to us and, and we will meet with you and find ways that you want to accomplish your goals. Okay. And they can go to our website that has all of our contact information about that. It's and what is that? It's www.tidewell.org. Okay. That has all the information about our organization as well as um, our opportunities Wonderful. to contribute. Awesome. Thank you, Lynn. Thanks. Thank you so much for all the work that you do. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right. Don't go away. Suncoast FYI will be right back after a quick break. <laughs> 